besides just AI tools, one of my favorite things to talk about is, well, how do we start real businesses and make real money with said AI tools? And for me, one that consistently stands out is kids channels. And I won't lie, when my daughter started growing up and watching these channels, the same video over and over and over and over again. I used to be super annoyed. I said it. I used to be super annoyed with these channels until one day I caught a glimpse at their analytics and what I saw absolutely blew my mind. Some of these channels were making between 10 and $31,000. Some between 22 and $66,000. And I knew with my ability to use AI, I could recreate some of this content. And at first, we could only do simple things like make kids phonics videos. But since the release of Read Kids, we're able to do way more. So just for context, this channel called Vox makes between ten and thirty-one thousand dollars a month. I would estimate it's on the lower end of that, probably around ten k a month. And here's what they do: In the deepest of woodland, at the start of the day. When the sun was just rising and... Alright, I'm gonna pause it here before I get a copyright strike. But you get the picture, right? They basically make animated kid stories. And look, in the past, this would be near impossible to replicate. I mean, you would have to get animators to draw the actual story. Real writers to write the story. But now with Read Kids, we can replicate all of this without having to do all of that, right? And in this video, we're going to do just that. We're going to create our own kids story and I guarantee you're going to be blown away at how surprisingly easy it is to do. So enough yapping, let's get to it. This is AI in a nutshell. So one of the first things you do before starting any business is market research and who better to interview than the exact target market. Yes, you are the target market. Yes, you. Yes, you. Why? Because we're making these videos for you. Okay. Do you like these videos? Yes. Why do you like them? So, you were telling me? Hmm? You were telling me, why do you like the story? I uh, was saying, mm -hmm. where's the panda's home? The panda's home? Yeah, and where's she going to? And I don't know where his brother, and I don't know where his mom. Oh, so you want to know where is, where is his family? Yeah, I don't know where his family. Hmm, okay, so you want me to create a story where the panda's lost and... He has to find his family and he has to find his home? Yes. <laughs> so now that we have some idea of what story we want to make, it's time to jump into Read Kids and bring it to life. Over here on the main interface, by the way, to get over here, just click the first link in the description, log in, and it should bring you over here. And you can see there is so much that they have here on their homepage, a bunch of templates that we can use. We also have this sidebar over here, and we want to create our own kids' stories, so we're going to click here on animated video. And that should bring us to this page where we can create our script. And you can see here we have a bunch of filters we can use to really hone in and get the exact story you want to get. So you can decide the age, whether you want a family story type or a fairy tale. And over here, well, our panda is going to look for his mom and dad as our viewer so eloquently put it for us so we're gonna say mom and dad yes we want it from a third person perspective and we want non-anthropomorphic so basically what this means if you choose anthropomorphic and there's gonna be animals in your story it's gonna give those animals like human features whereas if you go for non-anthropomorphic it'll give an exact representation of that animal so yeah non-anthropomorphic for me and I'm going to say a panda got lost and goes on a journey to find his home and his mom and dad. He meets some challenges along the way that he has to overcome in order to find his parents. That's basically the story that I was told. So I'm going to click here on AI generate. And here it's typing up our script for us. Let's see what it comes up with. And here's our story. You can pause and read it if you want to see it. Otherwise, just keep watching because we're going to bring this whole thing to life. I'm going to click here on extract roles. We can decide what our animation style is going to be. And we have quite some options to choose from. I'm going to go here with fairy tale glow style. But of course, you can go with any one of these. And now I'm going to click here on next. 
And now over here, we can generate all our characters. And this will really help with keeping consistency throughout the entire video, right? So first, we're going to generate our protagonist. And I'm going to click here on edit character. And yes, his name is Bamboo. Gender is a boy. Animal category, make sure you go with animal. But of course, you can go with any one of these depending on what your story requires. Yes, he's a child type he's a panda but of course you can go with any one of these um depending on what your story requires and yeah i quite like everything that's on here already i'm gonna say confirm and now i'm gonna say <sighs> and now for the mom i'm gonna click on here Make sure everything is all good with her as well. Bamboo's mom, female, animal type, panda, non-anthropomorphic. Everything is perfect. Let me check the dad as well. And everything seems all good with the dad as well. I'm going to confirm. And now I'm going to say generate. And it's all done generating bamboo. And it gives us four options to choose from. Here's the other one over here. Here's another one here and here's another one. Now me personally, I quite like, I like the first one and the last one. And actually I think I like this one way, way more. And now I'm gonna generate the mom and I'm gonna say generate. And just by the way, you can have all the characters generating concurrently, which is really, really cool. And here's the mom is generated here, here for us. And let's see which one we're going to. It doesn't even look like a panda, but I think I like this one more. I think this is perfect. And as for the dad, I think I like this one as well. But I'm going to go with this one and say next. And yeah, it's given us a really cool storyboard. This is this is some next level stuff, right? So it's giving us the context. So it's giving us what's supposed to be happening. And then it's broken that down into the different scenes. This is really, really, really cool. And by the way, you can edit these as you like, right? So you don't you're not bound to what it's given you. You can add your own sort of creativity throughout um, all of this. And also, by the way, you can add your own scenes. So I can click over here and add my own scene. Um, but I quite like everything it's giving me already. I'm going to delete that. And that's how you delete a scene, by the way. Just click on this bin icon. I like everything as is. So I'm going to click here on next. And now it's generating our timeline. You can see it's even giving us a progress report over here. And yeah, let's see what it comes up with. And here's our timeline. This is so cool. And look, there's so much we can do over here. You can see here's our different scenes. Um, you can just click on any one of them to load them up. That's really, really cool. And one thing, it's, all, it's sort of got like a little Canva setup where over here we can edit this text. So Bamboo finds his way home. So the home text, you can see some of it is up here on this line and some of it on, is on this line. So I am just going to do this to bring it over there and you can just center and it will usually just snap to center which is really really cool and that's that we can change this text if we want to so yeah tons of changes we can make and over here this is where we put in the prompt this is what well this is what we tell the tool what we want what visuals we want on here so it's already put in a prompt that it's going to put in here and let's see what it's come up with and there it's all done it's generated the picture for us so this will be literally like the first scene you can see bamboo finds his way home and it's given us four options to choose from and one thing you notice that bamboo is not here right what we can do is click here on this chat ps button and with this we can edit anything on this picture we can remove some stuff we can add on some stuff there's so much we can do but what we want to do right now is add bamboo so i'm gonna click here and select from historical works then i'm gonna click here on character and then i'm gonna click over here to add our boy and i'm gonna say add bamboo the panda sleeping while said i'm gonna say create and that is perfect it's added him right there just exactly as i wanted and i'm just gonna fix this text over here 
bamboo finds his way home i'm gonna enlarge it just a bit more and that is perfect now for our second scene and here over on this side you can see it plans on adding our character bamboo because you can see him here in the portrait reference and yeah here's the subtitles over here and here let's see what it comes up with i'm just gonna say generate and there we go i'm not quite sure which one i like between this one and this one over here let me know down in the comment section which one you would have went with but i think i quite like the one where he's sitting down so i'll go back to apply to canvas and and before i get to the rest of these just one more thing i want to show you guys we have all these different sections over here and the ones that really stand out to me is these two over here. So here on audio, this is basically going to be our narrator for the story. And you can preview over here. So this is basically going to be our narrator. And you can change him up whenever you want to by just clicking up here and then you can well you can preview all these other voice actors. Let's just preview the one we have selected. Hello. Hello. Welcome to, Welcome to Read Kids. A world full of imagination and childlike fun. And I want to show you guys the music section as well. That's what we love on this channel. And yeah, you can select any song and you can just click on here to add it. Um, we're not going to add any song for now. But if you wanted to add it for your own video, you absolutely can. I'm just going to click here to get out of there. And yeah, I'm going to get to work generating the rest of our scenes and there it's all done generating our scenes this is really cool all of this is being done in one platform without jumping you know from one platform to another just one thing i did notice here though on this scene here it says just then bamboo remembered what his mom always said at the time dip your paw first take it slow this is supposed to be his mom and she's evidently way smaller than him right so i'm gonna click on this chat ps button and i'm gonna say Make the mom panda bigger and make the boy bamboo panda smaller. And there we go. You can see it's made her bigger and made him smaller. So now, you know, it's clear that this is the mom and this is the son. And now that it's all done, it's time to animate this and turn it into a real video. And that brings us over here and you can see we can generate each scene one by one. Here are all our scenes over here. And over on this side, so clicking on any one, you can see over on this tab over here. We, it gives us the prompt to generate the video, but you can also edit and put in your own prompt. Now, I quite like the prompts that are there already. I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'm going to just say generate. And there you can see here, it is all done generating that looks awesome i absolutely love that now i'm gonna get to work generating the rest of the videos and then we're gonna call in our viewer well to come give it a rating and just like that it's all done generating the videos all we have to do now is click here on animation preview and also to generate our voiceovers just click here on this mic icon for audio and we're gonna just select four of them to generate the audio and then say generate and we're going to export i'm going to say storyboard video and i'm going to say download and once it's all done it sends you a notification just click here to download it it's a hot are you ready 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 yeah are you sure yeah okay cool in the soft shade of the bamboo forest a little panda named bamboo blinked awake leafy stalks rustled in the gentle spring breeze but something was wrong. Bamboo looked left and right. Where was his home? Where were his mom and dad? Bamboo felt a flutter in his tummy like little leaves swirling in the wind. He took a deep breath. I will find my way home, he said softly, though his round ears listened for familiar voices. A few moments later. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, what rating do you give it? A uh, uh, hundred out of a hundred. A hundred out of a hundred? Yeah. <laughs> and another thing that's really cool is that we can use this exact same story as a picture book, right? So if you click here on back and click here on present, you can see we have a picture book, right? So you can click here to view the next page 
and i think this is really really cool by the way the works you create on here are fully ours you can post this book on amazon kindle you can post it anywhere you want to the video as well you can post it on youtube or any platform you want to overall i love this platform because if you wanted to do these kind of stories you'd have to use a million different tools but it combines all the best features of an ai video generator and a picture book generator and it does it all in one tool so here i click the first link in the description if you want to check it out also leave a comment leave any questions that you may have like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one peace